Yesterday was an amazing day, and I've got another special one dialed up for you. I have multiple sports betting picks and a four pick slip for prize picks. Yeah, that's right, baby. We're going hard in the free department for you right here, right now. Let's go. All right, today we did a Discord stream not too long ago. People really liked it, asked for it again. Here's what I'm going to be showing you the picks channel, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to give you about a half dozen picks today. So focus up. This was the recap I posted this morning. Another successful night, plus 5.22 units profit for the members based on the Spari picks, 191.51 units over the course of 2022. Remember, a unit is whatever your average bet is. So if your average bet size is $10, you'd be up $1,900 as of June 10th. Wow, that's pretty darn good. Here's the month by month, and you can see we are on pace for June being our best month ever. MLB, the month of May, 41.9 units, the most money won by any sport in any month so far in 2022. And well, June looks like it's potentially going to surpass that if it keeps pace. Lastly, you can see the individual cappers between myself, uh, Bennett and Scrosby on price picks, our win rates and the total overall sports you'll see about 67 percent win rate in baseball and that makes sense with our incredibly hot may and june well, let's get to some mlb picks here we are so you've got a little breakdown martin perez lucas giolito hunter green zach wheeler it shows what my unit investment is on the strikeout prop and we're running out many ladders so let's go ahead and talk about each one Martin Perez, so the White Sox are middle of the road, strikeouts versus left-handed pitchers. Uh, Perez is averaging 0.81 strikeouts per inning, but he's an innings eater this season. Four plus Ks in 10 of 11 games, five plus strikeouts in eight of 11. I put one unit on over three and a half, 0.25 units on Martin Perez, five plus strikeouts. Next up, we are looking at Lucas Giolito. Got himself a beautiful, delicious matchup, to be honest. Texas strikeout rate versus right-handed pitchers, bottom 10 in the MLB in every single sample size, full season, one month, two weeks, doesn't matter, they stink. Giolito averaging 1.3 strikeouts per inning. His issue is he always uh, gets yanked early, loses control, maybe doesn't make 100 pitches, things like that. I don't think that happens today. I think we're in a really good spot, inducing a swinging strike rate of 14.5%, seven plus strikeouts in six of the nine games this season. So I'm going one unit, over six and a half strikeouts, minus 118 on FanDuel. And I'm going 0.25 units on over uh, eight plus strikeouts, plus 164 on FanDuel Sportsbook. Next up, Hunter Green. Well, we've got an interesting matchup here. So Hunter Green's been pitching extremely well. And then the other side, St. Louis rarely strikes out. They are bottom three in the MLB versus right-handed pitching in every metric. They have a sub 20% strikeout rate across every sample size. They are fantastic against righties, and this makes it a tough spot. So are you going to go with the guy who's uh, been over six plus strikeouts in 10 of 11 starts or the team that rarely strikes out against righties? In these situations, something has to give. And I end up taking the side of the pitcher more often than not. So Hunter Green over five and a half minus 154. That's juiced up on FanDuel, but I'm taking it. Next up is Zach Wheeler. He's got a nice matchup against Arizona, striking out top five most against right-handed pitchers over the last month and the last two weeks. Wheeler averaging 1.17 strikeouts per inning. That's healthy. That should get us there if he can go six. And he's at 98 pitches per game over the last five, which is a very good sign. Now, at the 7.5 strikeout prop, he's only been over 45% of the time over the last two seasons. However, when you look at some of those matchups, some of those games where he gets the nine, 10 strikeouts. That happens often, more often than not, in these types of matchups. He feasts on this. He actually struggles against some of those better teams with lower strikeout rates. That's just something that's plagued him over the last few years. And I think that today we get to take advantage of it. So I'm going half a unit on the plus odds of eight plus right here, the plus odds of plus 102 on FanDuel. That's just pure value. And then I'm also going nine plus strikeouts for 0.25 units at plus 200. So pure value, hopefully he climbs the mini ladder. Last but not least, I've got myself some Kevin Gossman. Which one's gonna show up today? Hopefully the one that we had earlier in the season, hopefully the 2021 version. Beautiful odds over there, over five and a half strikeouts on DraftKings for minus 135. I love that. FanDuel has him at minus 102 at six and a half. 
And that's a fine play as well. I mean, we're going to actually talk about both. So Gossman has been somebody who uh, he, he matches up well against Detroit pitch arsenal wise. Uh, he's got good track record against Detroit when you're looking at BVP and Detroit stinks against right-handed pitching. I mean, they're uh, top five most strikeouts in the last two weeks, last uh, month and the entire season against right-handed pitching. So take advantage of this. And Gossman, 1.14 strikeouts per inning, 16.4% in swinging strike rate. That's craziness. Numbers suggest the strikeouts are going to come, and the last three or four games are going to be the outlier performances where he's been under this. 94 and a half pitches over the last five games. That's good for us. If we can get us 95 pitches today against this team, I think he can get there. He's been over this number 63% of the time in the last two seasons. Interestingly enough, He's been at seven plus strikeouts 57% of the time. So only a 6% difference between six and seven strikeouts. Basically what that tells us is when Gossman is on, he's on and he's going to do well. And you also have eight plus strikeouts. He's done that 41% of the time over the last two years. And then nine plus times, a nine plus strikeout, 28% of the time. So I think you could potentially run out a nice little ladder here. I have one unit over five and a half strikeouts on DraftKings minus 135 and then 0.25 units over six and a half minus 102 on FanDuel. And then if you want to run the ladder up, you can go eight plus at 196 and nine plus at plus 360. I put 0.1 units on both of those to hopefully climb the ladder. Now, if you enjoyed this, you're going to like it just the same here for prize picks. I just posted my slip. I've got Giolito over six and a half, Hunter Green over five and a half, Zach Wheeler seven plus for the push factor on price picks, and Gossman six plus for the push factor on price picks. Those four picks made it nice and easy. Listen, if you enjoyed today's stream, if you're like, man, I love these Discord streams. Well, if you sign up, it's less than $1 a day, patreon.com slash Spari, and you guys can get signed up, get those picks for less than a cup of coffee each day. And I know you all are out there going to get your Starbucks, you feel good about paying six dollars for a latte my goodness i mean you could win yourself dozens of lattes per month for a fraction of the cost that you pay for it on one day i'll see you on the inside my friends and uh have a great day let's get paid baby